class two, 15.9, class three, 32.03, state highway 16.941. Class 4, 9.33, legal trail 3.32. What Sir? about the roads that we gave up? You did that last the, Was that the year ago? Four? Four? Oh, oh, okay. So time, class, goes, time goes quickly, everyone. Yes. <laughs> okay, and what, what, what's class, the trails, how many? I'm sorry? What's the trails? 3.32. It's kind of interesting data. So is our motion approved. Thank you, Mary. Second. Second. Thank you, Phil. All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, Selectsman and trust. Do we all need to sign this? No. Yes, you all need to sign it. Did you? I did. Oh, okay. You didn't notice my signature, but I thought I did, yeah. Mary. Thank you. Why don't you go ahead, Phil? Um, okay, so yesterday I was starting to do the, the pilot on the, the email, and I got part way down the road, and then and then working with Liz back and forth uh, last night, I, I I realized that see I have two accounts, so I have a management account to manage the email, and then I have my own account. So right. the first information I sent you guys was for the management account. So oh, course, that would have been bad. Well, you couldn't get into well, it. Your so. timing was your timing was really good when you sent out that email because I was just sitting down <laughs> to try and do it. I went, oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, Liz was the first one, and I got, uh, I'm just getting this thing going around, and I, so I, said, I, I couldn't figure out what the heck was wrong, so I kept digging and digging. And went, oh. oh. So then I sent it to Liz, and she got in. Uh, and then Steve contacted me today to say, are we still on hold? But... Uh, I'll have it. I'll have it. I just want to do new instructions and send them out. I'll send it to you tomorrow. So um, that's easy enough. Um, uh, computers are ordered and should be here uh, soon. I, I, I just had a funny experience with Dell. The first guy I had as an account rep basically ghosted me, as the kids say. I was like, you know, he worked with me up to a point and then was gone. <laughs> it's like, okay. Where Maybe he went on vacation. Or got fired or something. I don't know. But I finally worked my way through and found um, another person who's the state rep who I found through my friend Peter at the Agency of Education. Hi. Um, and he was great, um, very apologetic in terms of that not happening. He actually got some better pricing for us, so everything is ordered. And I made up a purchase order number because he said, look, I just, I just built you an account. Yeah. So, and I don't even know that I need a paper purchase order, but I'll, gi I'll give you information just so that we have it and put it in the system. So I think a couple of the computers will arrive next week. One of them, I think it's the laptop, won't be here till the 1st of February, and we've got the Chromebook. So it's probably as soon as those two desktops arrive, I'll get the tech group guys. Oh, is there something behind it? Is that, is that, is that, a box? Is that box part of it? That's the mailbox. Oh, that's the mailbox. The maintenance oh. department was here today. Ah, okay, that's all. That's from Amazon. Um, but anyway, that's that's uh, where we where we stand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Steve, uh, Liz yep. is now here. Hi, Steve. Hey, hi, Liz. <laughs> She's smiling but not talking. I said hi. Oh. All right. I say, I was the first one. Hi, Eric. All right. Okay. Good. Liz okay, so let's go. Is. Let's okay. go back to review and approval of the warning for the March third, two thousand twenty town meeting. And Steve, you don't have a copy of this, correct? I do not. I emailed it to you, Steve. Just it was emailed half an hour ago. Yeah, it was emailed. Okay. Well, we okay, well, we can go. Well, we can go quickly through them one at a time. I mean, there there are a couple of things here we really need to talk about, but. Article 1 is elect a moderator for the ensuing year, that's standard. Article 2, to elect a grand juror and town agent, standard. Article 3, uh, the list of all the offices, officers by Australian ballot. Article 4, and do we have people running for all offices? What's our... Uh, we do not have, we have everybody running for something except collector of delinquent taxes. Mm. Uh. And I don't have anyone running for the budget committee. <laughs> Otherwise, we have cemetery commissioner, lister, planning commissioner, treasurer, and counselor. Okay. Are there two slots open on the budget committee? Yes. Two. Yeah. So we need to work on that. Yeah. 
So open. So who is running and who is not running? Open. For what? Budget. Uh, it's just that the people who are there are still serving their terms. If last year, last year only one of you could elect three, and only Elias ran, and so Elias was elected. But you did, so that's why you have two of the two years of a three-year term on that. Oh, gotcha. And we we have one person running for. It? You know no one. No. For either of them. No. Uh, it's not for lack of trying. Jeez. No one wants and do we have any any contested races? So far, so good. No. Okay. Okay. Um, so Article 4 is receive and act upon reports of town officers. Um, Article 5 uh, lays out the dates for the payment for payments of taxes. Um, and you pick those dates so they all work, Sarah, right? Uh, well, in consultation with Dorinda, some of them land on days that when the office isn't open, but, we, but Dorinda thought it was a good idea to stick with the 20th just for consistency. So that's yeah, I think it is. We can put something out so and be aware the town office isn't going to be open. So the dates are the dates are August August 20th, November 20th, February 20th, coming right up, and May 20th. And it has the standard language, except if postmarked by the U.S. Postal Service on or before the aforementioned dates, according to 32 VSA, blah, blah, blah. Um, Article 6, see if the town will charge interest at the rate of half a percent per month, a fraction thereof, on overdue tax installments. That's a repeat. That's, that's the same. And uh, Article 7, get ready budget of $1.323867. Is that the same number that we looked at? That's the same number you voted at okay. last yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good question, yeah. though. It's nice to have those, you know, to be the same. Yeah. Um, Article 8 is, uh, shall the town voters appropriate the sum of $5,000 to the Middlesex Conservation Fund? Article 9 uh, and this was by petition, shall a town authorize the expenditure of up to $8,000 to purchase two radar speed feedback signs to be installed on the north and south lanes of Vermont Route 12 in Putnamville by petition. Do we have to take a position on that or should we? No. It's by petition, so yeah. it's on there. I don't think we do. Okay. Yeah, I think we... Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Shall the town voters authorize expending $275,000 for the purchase of a new town road grader to be financed over 10 years? Um, I had the uh, opportunity to have a conversation with Paul today and also Steve on the subject of this grader, and I asked them both the same question, is are we, how much of a chance are we taking to push this off for another year? I mean, if anything's causing me heartburn with a budget increase, it's that, even though we all know that there's no money that's going to be expended in the next year. It just seems like overkill. I thought we had decided a year uh, at the last meeting not to put it on. And we we had not decided. Oh, we I talked we about did. it, but we didn't. Okay. We didn't decide. Because I said, put it on, and if we don't need it, we can hold on. Can off. it be reworded so that it at least says so that people are like, oh, we have to spend another two hundred seventy-five. Well, like, that it will happen in. Well, let me just year. let me just tell you what what uh, and and kick in here, Steve. But I I talked yeah, to sure. Paul and I were up with the with the state guy looking at the parking situation up on Notch Road today, so I had a little bit of a chance to talk to him, and I had him trapped in my car with nobody else in the car, and I said, so, what do you think about pushing the grader off for another year? And what he said, which I had already heard from the, from the road crew, is probably we can do that. It will need to have the, I'm going to call them legs and arms and links and all the widgets that make the mow board attached to the grader, the mow board being the scraper, yeah. it's all loose. So one of the reasons we have the washboards we have is that that uh, shakes. 
when it goes down the road. And I don't know what you think the number would be, uh, Steve. Paul said probably 20 grand. Well, it's going to be definitely in that vicinity. To redo that particular part of the grader to get it by for another year. Now, of course, the irony is if we buy the new grader, that's roughly going to be 25 grand and it's going to be put off a year versus spending 20 grand now to put the purchase of the grader off for a year. Well, and I think if we explain that, because people are going to ask about it, and mm -hmm. that's what we explain. So, you know, they, yeah. they have the right to vote on it right. and say whether or not they want to do that. So I guess you're you're saying I say put it on the ballot. Yeah. I mean because I think it does. I mean, it's just whether they're going to look at it and think we've all lost our minds, but maybe we have. Well, I mean, there's some people who think we've lost our minds just because of who we are. <laughs> but this is going to be in next year's. Um, there will be no. Ex we will buy it, and take out the note. But there won't be any payments there due won't be until any payment next year's year. budget. So we would do it after after. So that twenty five k will be in next year's mm -hmm. budget, or we have as for the next ten years, or we have twenty k that we have to take out that we're going to have to take out somewhere. Yeah. Well, out of the where are we going to take we're asking it? them to approve this. Well, well but we don't what? have it in the budget. Right oh, no, if we if no, we have to do the nuts and bolts next year's budget. No, if we have to do the bolts. It'll be a year off. I'm saying if we have to make a repair, we're pulling oh, that from grand. discretionary Yeah, the 20 money. grand is out of the budget we're right. asking them to approve. The well, <laughs> well, we do we do, and we don't because we've got a big number in there for repair. I mean, right. you know, it's a question, is it a truck engine, is it the grader, is it whatever? We don't know what it is. You're right. But if we put 20000 in to fix that stuff, do we stand any chance of getting that back? Out of the grader, I, I asked. Well, I, I I said to Paul. So if we have if we have that all tuned up, won't that mean we'll get more money for the grader when we trade it? He said you'd be lucky to get a quarter or half of it back. I mean, you'll get some of it back. Yeah. Yeah, but no, no you won't get it all back. No, no, you won't get it all back. But we'll also be using it for a year. But right. And we're also so, so it'd be the other, five to ten thousand to use it for another year. The other the other part of it is. If heaven forbid the transmission goes or the engine goes or whatever, we've lost our trade in and we'd have to turn around and rent a grader until we can get authority to buy one. Which now the good news is boat. we'd be a special boat to buy or we'd, or we'd wait till town meeting depending yeah. on when it was. Well, we have but a, um, we have the good news collection. is unlike the trucks where you can't just go out and rent a town truck because they're not any out there that have all the equipment on them. You, you can rent a gray with a couple of days' notice. There are yeah. graders sitting in the Jordan Milton lot up there and at John Deere and everywhere. So you can get a grader pretty pretty. How much quick. do they rent for? What's what's the monthly rental on a grader, Steve? About? Uh, I would be somewhere in the vicinity of I think it's probably in the vicinity of eight thousand. Yeah. A month. A month. Ten thousand a month? <coughs> yeah, eight, eight to ten. ten. Yeah. yeah. So okay. How long does the grader last? 25 years? <laughs> a grader? Are you yeah. kidding? <laughs> they used to. No, but seriously, you got like, a sense of humor. Years? Yeah, they used to. I would tell you they don't anymore. I mean, there's, there's so much. I mean, our, our the grader we have has almost no electronics on it. Mm -hmm. And the new ones are all Oh, the new ones right? are all. They're going to be expensive to maintain, the new ones. Very. Mm -hmm. Well, we get all, the, all the risks we've had with our new trucks, you know. Now, heavy equipment is different than heavy equipment is different than trucks. You know, like you think of that, you think of our loader. I mean, we haven't put a penny into that loader, have we, Steve? No. No. You know, so no, we're... so heavy equipment is likely to be. But how long does it last? Well, we hope it's going to last 15 years. We hope we'll have a few payment free years. Uh, Aren't your loan supposed to be the life of the of the? Um... Well, or shorter. How old is our grader right now? Even though it's not, I know that it's not the same quality. As <laughs> well, it was it was ten year, ten or eleven years old when we did the when we did the rebuild. Yeah, then, I think we're I think we're only like sixteen or seventeen. So that's important. That's to know. what I would say. Well, we did the rebuild how long ago? Five or six years ago, because that's when we were supposed. That was do we buy a new one then or do we? 
put a chunk of money into it, and, and that's, that's basically worked. I mean, it hasn't worked perfectly. We have that transmission job. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't know if it matters. I've been in the amortization schedules, and the principal's about 25000 but then you have $10,000 worth of interest. interest. Right. So is this a and this is a ten year note or is this a that's a ten, ten year, year note. note. Of course yep. your interest would go down every year, but yeah. You know, right. It's, it's ten thousand um, total in interest? For the first year. First year. Or just for the first oh, because it's two hundred and seventy five thousand, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's based on two seventy five. That's thirty five thousand, so what's the interest rate right now? I just threw in three point five. The sure, last yeah. one we got was three point two five. That was for the truck we bought. So I've used a three point five. Okay. I just wonder what so interest will go down do. by what, maybe a grand yeah. Yeah. a year? Yeah. yeah. That. So how, is, um, do we have anything else coming out of highway or the fire? Oh, well, we got trucks coming. We got no, no, what I mean is any debt service ending? So no, no it, nothing's is paid there off yes. this year. Well, we had, yes, we paid, well, in 2019 we right. paid it off. There's right. nothing due to come off in 2020. Um, I have a 21. 21, no, we've got only, I think. So um, we don't, we can't do any replacement, kind of like, oh, well, this is going off, and so it's really mm -hmm. only going to cost uh, us X. Um, we just retired two loans this year. And how much was that we saved? Um, suppose that I'd have to go back. And okay. Look. Just I don't have it. Um, i trying to think when these other ones come off. Um, we have the international truck doesn't come off till 2024 and the 2019 one we just bought doesn't come off till 2025. And what happens when you sell the grader? What do you do with that money? They use yeah. it as a trade-in. Oh, it's just a trade-in. It's just yeah. a trade-in. Yeah. Okay. So it lowers the amount we have to borrow. Okay. And, um, I mean, I, I guess I my personal feeling would be because it's not coming out of this year's, it's not being added to this, this note isn't going to be added to this year's budget, I would say if Steve thinks it's something that our road crew needs and in the long run will be a better investment than repairing, I would say we keep it on and we just explain that this is, you know, this note will be for next year's budget but we're approving it to purchase it this year because it has to be purchased either this year or next year yep so all we're doing is just delaying it where it's not going to be this year regardless so it's either going to be yeah, next year push, or the year we after push the note off one more i, mean, I know it's, <clears throat> i know it's 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 spending it's spending twenty thousand dollars and getting or one more year out of it. Get back yeah, I know. To get yeah. one more year. So yeah. from from that point of view, if you figure if you figure the thing costs two hundred and seventy five thousand for ten years, if we're paying ten thousand for one year, twenty thousand for one year, that's cheap. Yeah. So But we're we're also rolling a dice yeah. so we could have a catastrophic dice. failure. Right. Right. And well. so I mean I what what are your thoughts, Steve? Do you think there's gonna be a catastrophic failure? I, and we're holding you to it. Yeah. Yeah, no, right. No, I mean, but you know the machine. It's like you. It's been maintained. People have looked at it. I mean, does it look like it could last another year? You're talking more like 18 months, not just a year. Right. Because you're not well, going make... until the bud next year, right, right, right. oh, which yeah. would be yeah. after July 1. Right. <clears throat> so but yeah. we've we got it for months. the next six months anyway. It's an additional 12 months. Right, and then it's an additional. Right, right. but you're talking 18 months away. Uh -huh. And so Steve says... Steve just passed out on the couch. He's not responding. Well, no, I haven't passed out. I'm, not, I'm listening to this. My mind is spinning. I, I, I just really don't have a good feeling about going for the new grader, going for a bond for the new grader this year with, with everything we've done. Okay. Um, <clears throat> And saying that, I mean, I know we're going to spend money uh, to fix the grader, but you're going to, you will recoup some of that, and you're pushing it off another year. That's fine. The I'm other thing, I, the other thing I would say is, in my discussion with Paul today, he said, you know, they've been checking the, the when they change the transmission oil or change the engine oil, they've been sending out the transmission oil as well as the engine oil, and it comes back clean. Okay. Which means 
that's something we haven't done in the past that we're now doing to try and keep an eye on these catastrophic issues. He said, yeah. uh, you know, Paul's thing <coughs> was the, the greater itself, it's got good tires on it, um, yep. good you engine, good transmission, the hydraulics. I mean, there's were probably a few seals or whatever that could be could be fixed, but that's basically all good. What's, what's bad is the attaching part to the okay. mo board. Is there any fear that you're going to bring it in and then they're going to say, oh, well, actually, it needs this whole new thing because this is actually rusted out, too, and that's going to be another <laughs> 20000 Then we have a special town meeting. <laughs> I mean, of I course there's a it. chance. That's what happens every time you take your car into exactly. the Exactly. That's what I mean. We all have that. Right. We all have that fear. <laughs> Um, so is that the accent fine. they use when they tell us that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But I mean, then that's fine. I would try. I mean, I defer to you because you're the one who runs yeah, the equipment and knows the road. So I am. And, and it fine just gives that. me it, it gives me heartburn to have it on there. Okay, this then year. let's take it off so yeah. that you don't have heartburn. I don't have to give you any okay. more tums. Okay. Or something. But what I stronger. would say, maybe as a compromise, Phil, you could add to your little thing we had considered, you know, doing a greater. Look forward to that next year. I mean, just sure. as a yeah. little with like, the cost. Associated this is coming with it. down the road, and this is we we decided not to do this, even though it wouldn't have affected our budget this year. The truth of the matter is, the greater, as scary as it is, the annual cost is no different than buying one of our right, trucks. Right. I know. Right. But it's the scary. It lasts it's a lot scary, longer. But it just yeah, gives scary. people a little heads up. No, it's That's a really good idea, Liz, to have a film. Okay. Listed. So I'm, I am number putting 10 a cross out through number 10. Gone. I mean, so and now so 11. numbered, right, Sarah? I'm going to go read. Yeah, I'm going to send it to my computer to number them now. So, um... Or you just have to take in that line out. No, yes, yeah, but I have to I associate to the article numbers too. Oh. So do you want to keep reading for Steve what's on that bet, uh, on the article? Yep. So um eleven. Economic development. Yep. So these are all the petitioned articles. Six hundred dollars yep. for economic development, four thousand fifty for home health and hospice. 3000 for Community Connections, 1500 for Girls and Boys yep. Mentoring, uh, 29801 for the Kellogg Hubbard Library, $7,000 yep. for the Montpelier Senior Activity Center, $10,000 for the Waterbury Senior Center Meals on Wheels, and then all the... Uh, all the other little ones. Yep. Mm -hmm. And is, we don't have a total for that, do we? Oh, $4,368 for all the little guys. 73319 for everything. Dorinda's got her eye, got her eye on the... Uh, Was it 17319? Is that what you said, Dorinda? 73319 for all the special articles. Including the, two, the smaller ones? Including the smaller ones. No pennies? No. And that no. includes the Conservation Commission? That includes all special articles, which is up 14.16% from last year. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> well, what, there's not that much that's new, though. Oh, uh, there's some new ones. There's, there. yeah. As I tried to mark new. Um, which ones are new? Well... Under the 251 request is our CV DAR animal response team. I don't have that on yours. It's big, on, on yours it says CV disaster animal response team. Okay. And then okay. there's Big Heavy World. That's new. And um, what in the hell is that? It's an arts association. Okay. Winooski. They're in Burlington, but I don't know what the word. How the hell are they getting away from us? Winooski Natural Resources. And I think the one that I marked new is Vermont Family Network. I think that's a replacement for the um, for Family Center of Vermont. Family Center of Washington and also uh, yeah. the Children's Room. Yeah. And the Children's oh, okay. Room. So 
So that one, even though it's, it's new well, on the list. And the, the bottom are, line is, the bottom line is they're on there. We can't take them off. Right. Well, well those, are, those, are what? Just, what? those are just letters to the select board. You can take them off. You don't have to do those. They're under, they're not by petition. They're just letters to the select board. So, but don't we, don't we say to organizations, if you ask for less than that, we put you on? We don't say we're going to make a decision about whether we put you on. Well, by law, even if somebody petitions an article and it does not fall under the special article rubric, you can, the select board has the right to you take it your off. Year. Your policy has always been not know? to. So when we had but wacky things like from last year. storing uh, school records in Wisconsin, yeah. was that okay? Do you remember that one? Yeah. Uh, you still left it on. Some some towns did not accept that petition. Oh. In this case, these are just letters to the select board asking us, would you please put us on the warning? So you can take, you can put any on or off that you want. That certainly hasn't been our practice, though. I know. I mean, well, like, yeah. if we get I mean, them if we're a letter, do, if we're going to do that, we need to say. I think we need to say we're going to be reviewing and making a decision about whether we put you on or not. I don't know. How do you guys? Yeah, do? I. I feel exactly the same way. We'd have, have to give them notice that I feel like we review. Yeah, that we've always had a policy and I think we should follow the policy. I'm just trying to find the ones from last year. Where were they? Do you want my glasses, Mary? <laughs> yeah, it's under it's, uh, it's under the warning. Under the warning. <laughs> We now, oh yeah, now we have a we pair. Now, we, have, we now have our an office official pair. board. President readers. <laughs> Is the warning? Um, it's usually at the beginning the of the book. Look at yeah. the, the beginning. Look at the look at the. There's a table of contents. Yeah, <laughs> that would be too easy. Right there. <laughs> Some of them are off though. Like basic education isn't on this year. Some like we don't do it anymore. Capstone doesn't. Yeah, so it's too much work. Do it yeah. Yeah. Too much work. Is mm -hmm. Good beginnings. Too much work to write a letter. No. <laughs> Way more than that. To do it to all the towns, it's the man, the person power that it takes to do it, and then get someone to be there if they need to speak about it. It's just not worth our time. Hmm, that's why people say Capstone has a lot of money because I wanted to give them more from Washington after talk. And someone say Capstone has so much money. We don't have so much money, Mary. I'm just saying that. All right, we're not discussing that. the yeah. we're not discussing the Capstone budget. So. I just said I wanted to give them more for for uh, <laughs> okay, assistance. so. Drum roll, please. What okay. about the last one? Wait, what is this one? Article, Article 19. 19. That's a big one. I did. Oh, he petitioned it. I'm, I'm going to read. Did you got I'm a petition? I'm, no. I just asked Sarah to put it on. I'm going to request that be taken off. And then later in the meeting, I'm going to request an executive session to discuss. Our attorney's opinion regarding this matter. Okay. The bad the bad news is I don't think our assistant's going to let us go into executive yeah, attorney, session. Legal, yeah. Legal it is. Well, oh, no, legal no, we can. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But he's not here. I'm his. Just won't let me but go. I talked to him earlier too. Okay. No, no, it's not his. The fact that there was a legal, it's a, it's a legal discussion. We're talking about legal advice. So right. The select board's allowed to go into select. Yes. Isn't that what I asked if we were going to talk about? You said you wanted to just talk about the issue in general. You did not mention the magic word, which is legal advice. And you didn't prompt me to say you have to add that little <laughs> word? I did not. Come on. Well, he's down to it. All right, he's okay. I'm, I'm happy about that because that was a little un okay, maybe you guys more than a little unsettling right. to me to do it Would you just yeah. as a preemptive. Okay. That's right. So. Move approval of the warnings Wait, as amended. Whoop. Why? I just got to read. Well, you, you know, I mean, the thing is, it's you, you could report it afterwards. Well, no, you have to sign it, so you have to sign it. Sign it. But, I, but we, we can still, still do vote the motion. It. Okay. Move. Okay. Okay. Mary moved. Second. Yeah. I will. Liz, all in favor of the warning as amended, please Mary say aye. 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 So Mary moved and Liz seconded? Yep. Yep. So it is unanimous. Okay. I'm going to go like this. <laughs> Good idea. I think it's dangerous to keep. Yeah. I think, I think um, that a copy of this should accidentally go down to the fire station. Can you guys just sign this and we'll uh, uh, 
It's a wrinkled copy. You, I know, it's my last paper. Did you remember those articles when I you did? Of course she did. And, and also Sarah's it. always ahead of it. But Sarah, it still, still says draft. It does not, does it? Yes, yeah. it does. Well, the paper oh, does. <laughs> Last piece of paper. That was her last piece she was of just, paper. Just seeing if we were at each other. Oh man, damn it! Is it really your last piece? Well, let's hope not. Let's hope not. All right. Because I could have put it on the other side of this. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gotta get in there. That's where I get the. Okay, I move approval of January 7th, 2020 minutes. I feel like that was in here. Is there a second? Second. Was that just last week? No. no. Two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Yeah, I think Two I was here. You weren't here. You were. I wasn't. You were in Oregon. No, I was not in Oregon. No, that was, January wasn't 7th. that the night she was late or something and then we got through the meeting? That was December. That was Liz December. Liz was here. Okay. Liz, you, you were Liz here. has been late Liz because <laughs> Liz has a big job now and uh, no, he never leaves my desk. No, I'm not criticizing you. I'm just What's saying big one job? of those I know. I just have a lot to do at Capstone. Ooh. I'm in charge of a lot of things now and I have no time to do anything but be in charge of them. Okay. All right. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes. Of the January seventh meeting, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any Aye. opposed? Aye. Okay, we have approved. Someone just them. tell me who moved it. I room? moved it, and Aye. Phil seconded. Okay. And uh, I think that he was on the phone last week too. And on the on the and on the uh, top on the morning, it was Mary moved and Liz second. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Yes, in the morning. Yes. Sorry. Oh my God! Why am I? She's doing too many things. <laughs> let's let's slow down for a minute yeah. here. Everybody, take a breath. Well, I think that it's nice to have a cup. Good. You got you got some. Okay, you got, you yeah. can just pass that one around. Thank you. I want a cup of tequila. In case that someone calls, All I, need one is, I can say well, I can tell you what's on the morning. Has anybody, anybody ever asked you about it. that? No. <laughs> <laughs> But I do have the budget right next to my phone, just in case. Really? Well, where else am I going to find it if someone calls? Does that anyone really call about the budget yet? No. But what if someone does? You say, I'll look into it. I'll say, oh, look, here's my budget. It's right here okay, for you. Extra warnings. So I'll I'll memor take, I'll I'll take memorize one, it. Sarah, so. for the new one. For I'm the, sorry? I'll take one so I get this special article numbers. There you go. Inside I think it yours. just gives you a time. Oh, there you go. That's the draft. Draft, here you go. There you go, Sarah. All signed, sealed, delivered. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so yeah. much. Yeah. And you guys signed this? Yeah. Steve, Great. And all you do is sign the minutes. And then I'll leave you alone. Okay, so we're ready for the treasurer's report? Oh, right. The treasurer's report. The treasurer's report. Um, it's just this. Yeah. yeah. I. I think the only thing, our financials aren't ready for December yet, so um, I don't have those. I thought I might, but we didn't. But um, we talked last week about, um, mentioned that we possibly would have a property that was going to go up for tax sale. So I want to officially announce that I'm going to turn the property at 13 Rich Road. Is it 13 or 14? I have on mine 13. I don't know. That's what I have on my notice here, but maybe it's well, better. I thought it was 14. Yeah, we better. Is it 14? Well, I'll take you two seconds to check. Up. Maybe. Where's Rich Road? It's the one that's right over the, the back the way. The extension of Three Mile Bridge Road. Yeah. So, you know, when you're going. You know, with the house, biking. the house that's up on stilts, yes. the famous okay, yeah, stilts yeah, house. Yes, yeah, yeah, this one that we talked about. It's the yeah. one that never okay. got a permit yeah. anyway. So it's officially entered into the records and um, I guess that's all we have to other, do, right? Well, the other good, right, the other, the other good news is that um, you, and you all got the email from Sarah that there is funding to buy out that place. That was a and long time ago. Next door. That email. No, no, no. It's been, it was when, last week? It's the place next door, Jennifer Evans. Yes. Not this house. Right. I'm right. sorry. Okay. Yes. Yes. And they're coming to the select board meeting in February to talk to you about 
what the town will have to do. Janet Evans is the end of the road. Jennifer though. is the end of the road, yes. Yes. And the, the issue was who was going to bring up the 25% match. And we were having a hard time. And FEMA went out there and saw it was so dire that they somehow found a way to get the 25% match in addition to the 75% that FEMA's putting up. Wow. Oh. There's the good news. The bad news is we have to front the money and get reimbursed. But we can, that's a hell of a lot better than yeah. incurring the yeah. What else is the expense. We've done that before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, it's, it's good. And, and guess what? I We're want to thank Sarah before it starts because it was a lot of work the last time we did it for those trailers. Well, we'll see. I hope it goes by smoothly. Remember that? It's the well, last some new, one. New land for Skinner Park. <laughs> <laughs> Or a pond. I want. A, I want a couple of pi picnic tables. And a, and a they might be underwater. But. <laughs> I, I mean, for all bikers in Central Vermont, it would be wonderful. <laughs> there was just on the news this past week about um, the they just awarded funding for the floods. One of the floods we had, or something. Yeah, like yeah. yeah, I saw that. Did you see that? So, are we going to get any of that? Do we know or? Which was? It was. I don't recall which one, but they were on the news just that they just declared that we Vermont, were Vermont, like in Vermont in general, was yeah. 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 In Washington County was one yeah. of the counties. Yeah, I think yeah. Washington. I think it was two different skin, events, so. was two it different two flood different? events. Yeah, and it was so. I didn't but I get think all one the of them was the one that we got the money for. Yeah, it it might have been right. Yeah, I think, I think so. that might have been true. Okay. Yeah. I think that was getting federal, maybe getting federal money to reimburse the. I don't know. I read it quickly and okay. I, didn't, I was confused. This is leftover from Tropical Storm Irene. This is the absolute last grant to trickle down from Tropical Storm Irene. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Because they acted like this was new news, and but I didn't. Well, get it is where probably it new coming. news because there was more money coming. But okay. All, All right. right. So, so you're officially telling us you're putting it well sending because it to the attorney? because of the problem that chances are this won't get sold and or redeemed. I was going to ask you. Yeah. So okay. it's going to be something down the road, but we got to get it off the tax books after we're on our fifth year now. Right. So we is anyone get it living in it? From what I heard, no. No, but and not not only that, we're. In, the notices are coming back, right? I mean, we don't no, know where no, the people are. No, the, no notices are coming back. Oh, so they're getting the notices. Or they could not be sitting in attention. a mailbox or whatever yeah, they're doing. Right. Um, so this says, it was just the other day. It was just the other it, day. Well, but it seems to be the same flood. It says, President Donald Trump has approved a disaster <coughs> declaration for areas of Vermont damaged by a severe Halloween storm and flooding and ordered federal assistance to help with the recovery. Well, that's not Irene. That's, that's the, the one in, yeah, that's the one, I know, but this is the Halloween this storm, Halloween which one. we wouldn't have received money for yeah, yet. Yeah, it said right. there was in November already, um, there's well, all these. That damaged by the Halloween How did you find that? It says, oh, it says Vermont seeks federal, oh. let, wait, no, it says Vermont receives federal funds for repairs following Halloween storms on November 25th. That was reported. Um, so it says, we didn't have any Agency of Transportation will receive 500000 in emergency relief funding from the Federal Department of Transportation to repair damage to Vermont's highways in the wake of last month's heavy rains and flooding. So there, this must be a separate pot of money. Must, must be. be. Right. So how did you find that? I went on what is the called Google. the World Wide Web. <laughs> <laughs> the Information Superhighway. Okay, but well what did you type in to get that? I typed in flooding Vermont federal funds. <laughs> It's all okay. about it's all knowing about how to do those search searches. Search, yeah. So it looks like there's extra money. But we didn't have any damage in that storm. We didn't, and the Halloween storm, we didn't? We didn't submit anything. Okay. I mean, I'm sure we had a little damage, but we didn't have enough damage yeah. to... You probably have to reach a certain threshold yeah. to, the, to qualify for it. <laughs> okay, so but just so you're prepared, we'll have, I guess, the town, however, when this goes up, I don't know if we, if nobody bids on it, if the town bids on it. I'm not sure how the process goes. We get it by default if nobody bids on it, right? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Is that sure what happens? I think we do, yeah. Uh, or is it 12 that's what's months? Has that already been 12 well, months? No, because no, they have 12 months to redeem. To redeem yeah. somebody. Yeah. 
So I don't know how that works. Well, that's right. wrong but who would this. want you this? Said that you could, you, you know, I guess it's up to the town. Either the town takes it or the town says, well, all right, try again. And you go through the whole legal process and all the expenses again, but without the research, because that would have been done. We don't need to do that. Well, it's just something that'll be coming up. We'll so who do we hire? Do we hire Rob or do we have that other? That's how they did it last year. It just went through Rob's office. Yeah. Rob's done the last couple yeah. for, for the past five. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I have forgotten okay. that. I didn't know it landed there. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't either. I was wondering where it went. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, we approve the minutes. Signing of town personnel policy revised January 7, 2020. Action likely. You got it? I do now. I forgot about it. Just need to do the back page. Maybe I'll have it from last time. Let's see. Signing it. And Steve. Yes. I think you can be excused. <coughs> All right. Thank you very much for your participation. Keep uh, keep doing that physical therapy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Where are you, Steve? Are you in uh, Vermont? He's I'm at home. He has, home. He has a brand new hip, so he's oh, immobile. Special. Yeah. Yes. You're gonna feel so yep. good. So Steve, well, you... actually, I say that. Wait a minute. We, you want to go into uh, executive session, right? Right. Maybe you should stick around that. for the executive session. I'm sorry. Okay. So Steve, where did you have your surgery done? Uh.